Let's get it, let's go, let's get it, let's go. Your mom's a hoe, whoa, fuck. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy, Darius Official, and I am back with another YouTube video. I feel like everyone needs an outlet to avoid depression. <laughs> you guys are my outlet. <laughs> so as y'all can see from the title below, this is My Summer with Noah, episode 12. I think it's 12. Oh, brother. I don't know, y'all. Yeah. I don't know y'all. I haven't been on my camera in so long. It's been so bad. Um, I did just want to give y'all a little, little life update though. If I can do that. If you guys won't judge me or anything. Because you know how y'all be. All y'all be fucking worried about is this my summer with Noah shit. Y'all don't give a fuck about me. Y'all don't care about my fucking mental. Y'all don't care about my fucking health. Y'all just want that see. You know, I'm not even going to go there. But. No, I'm just playing. Anyway, um. So basically a little update on my life. Um, my grandmother recently just passed. Um, and I just been like literally two days after my birthday I was been supposed to make videos, but something with that just wasn't sitting right with me So I had to take some time off. I had to take a little break. Um, and I had to shake back. So, um I'm here. I didn't completely shake back, but I've shaken back enough for me to, you know, cut the camera on and talk to you all. But, um, yeah, what else is new? Oh, uh, yeah, not much. I finally talked to my dad in person. If you guys know the situation with that, um, well, we haven't even had a talk, but I've seen him. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't like how my hair is looking. Honestly, I really don't. It's doing a little something fun. But, anyway, yeah, that's enough of that bullshit. Anyway, um, so, yeah, let's get into the story time. So, uh, you know, from the last episode, basically what had happened was we threw like this crazy ass party. Noah's mom joined and everything was fucking nuts. He got like hella tipsy, um, had to clean up the house. And then next morning we woke up, uh, Kylie and fucking, um, Noah's ex was on Facebook beefing again. But anyway, that has nothing to do with this episode. That's just what happened that episode. So this episode is some shit. Um, this episode is crazy. I came out to my best friend. <laughs> Um, found something out. Anyway, let's get into the story. So y'all know Noah is about to get ready and leave and go to Paris. Um, now, literally at this time, he probably, it probably was like two, a little bit over two weeks left. <sighs> y'all, I just remember the emotions. I was so sad. Like, I was so upset. I was so sad. I was so sad. I was so sad. So anyway, um... I had woke up, I was at my best friend's house this morning, and, well, okay, so, we're gonna start from this night, um, we're gonna start from nighttime, we're not gonna start from the morning, so, basically, one, so, this day, I can't remember the exact day, but I was at my best friend's house at night, um, I did not see Noah that day, uh, but me and Noah was texting all day, and, like, you know, it was just, like, you know, look, look, shit, like, I miss you, can't wait to see you, what we doing tomorrow, stuff like that, such and such, yada, 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 so, I'm at my best friend's, um, Selena house, and, it was just me and her. Uh, and basically we were just talking, we were just chilling. Um, we were just doing what best friends do, watching TV and stuff, movies, eating snacks. We done made a pizza, did all of the good shit. It was a good little vibe. We had made a pallet on the floor. Literally, it was like, it was a cute little vibe, you know, a cute little thing, whatever. Cool, bada bing, let it happen. So, um, I remember it was like this Facebook post that I had saw and I was just kind of reading it. And it was like, I forgot whatever it was about, but that's pointless. Whatever the case is, I had told her, I'm like, G, like, read this. Like, this shit is crazy. It was a long Facebook post. And she was like, um, she's like, okay, she's reading it and shit. But like I said, it's a long Facebook post. I'm just like, just keep reading. I'm finna go pee. So I went to the bathroom and, uh, I peed. I probably was in there for like a good, I don't know, four minutes, maybe. Uh, peed and then washed my hands and I came back out. And I was like, did you read it? And she was like, yeah. Y'all, my best friend's energy was so off after that. Like, it was so crazy. So I'm just like, hey, like, I'm just noticing, like, she was just acting weird. And I was like, are you okay? And when she handed me my phone back, she was just like, she literally handed it like this. She was like, you would know our data? And I was like, I literally just had to drop my mouth. Like, drop, drop my draw, my, my draw. I had to drop my draw. I, damn, I can't say it. I had to drop my jaw. And I just remember, as I said, you went through my phone? And she was like, no, but yeah. And I was like, why? She was like, Noah just texted you. And he said, he missed you. And I clicked the thread. I said, so you went through my fucking phone? And she was like, I'm not mad or anything. I'm like, bitch, you can't be mad. I said, what? She's like, well, I didn't mean it like that. I'm like, y'all, I didn't even know what to do other than to be defensive. Um, Yeah, so she's just like, she's like, why didn't you tell me? Like, you know, you could tell me anything. And I was like, she's like, you could have told me that you were gay. And I'm like, at the time, I was still kind of in denial. I'm like, I'm not gay. She's like, you literally don't have to like hide it. Like, it's okay. And I'm just like, y'all, my face was literally like this. I'm just like, and she was like, so that's why y'all been spending so much time around each other. And I'm like, oh, brother, here we go. This, 
and she was like, fill me in. And I'm just like, I don't think I'm ready for that right now. Yeah, it was so awkward. Like, I literally did not know what to do. Like, I was just so shocked. I was, I don't know. I was just feeling a lot of things because I'm like, damn, now Noah's, I'm going to have to tell Noah that she knows. And I just like, I just, I would feel wrong if I didn't. It was just, it was crazy. So, um, I was literally contemplating in my head, like, should I go home or should I just stay here? Like, should I go home or should I stay here? And she was really comforting me, which I really do appreciate. She was just like, um, she's like, no, she's like, it's fine. She's like, it's, it's okay. Like, I'm here for you. She's like, I'm not going to tell anyone. You can tell me anything and blah, blah, blah. And I just really appreciate her even saying that. And I was just like, oh. And then after a while, I just kind of got out of my head and I'm just like, okay. So then she started asking about like, how did it happen with me and Noah? I told her, I gave her the whole little rundown. And she was like, oh my gosh. Like, she was just so shocked. Um, and... Then she started putting two, two and two together with like the whole, um, you know, Noah's ex thing with the car. And she was like, is that why you did it? I was like, yeah, because the bitch is a fucking stalker. Like, she's a fucking lunatic. She needs to be in somebody's straight jacket or in somebody's hospital, like a psych ward or something. Like, the bitch is loony. Like, she's a fucking lunatic. Stalker, bitch. And so, she's like, shit, I don't blame you. And she was like, oh my god, well, you guys are so cute. And I'm like, don't say that. I'm don't. I'm like, because it's what we do on our time is what we do on our time. It's crazy. And then I opened up to her and I had told her about like how he's leaving for Paris. And um, yeah, she could kind of see like the hurt in my face and everything. She was like comforting me. She was like rubbing my shoulder, rubbing my back. And I'm just, I just wanted to fucking cry because like my man is about to be this fine ass piece of man. Um, she was just giving me advice and stuff. She was like, I'm pretty sure, like, you know, he's going to come back and everything. And I'm like, I don't know, because if this job or whatever falls through, like, his mom and everything, I don't know when I'm going to fuck. I don't know when the fuck I'm going to see this man. Um, so, yeah, anyway, so that happened. Uh, and then, like, we literally just talked about, like, me and Noah the whole night. Literally, I think, like, 4 o'clock in the morning had came. And he asked if I wanted to go get, like, breakfast. And I'm just like, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. Like, why are we getting breakfast? And he's just like, well, I just miss you. And I'm like, okay. He's like, I'm about to be on my way. And I'm like, all right. So um, I was telling Selena, I'm like, yeah, um, he's actually going to come get me in like 10 minutes. And she's like, this late? I'm like, yeah. She's like, where y'all going? I'm like, original house of pancakes. <laughs> OHOP. That's the only place that's open right now. So we literally went to OHOP. But anyway, so she's like, oh my God, can I come outside and just like talk? I'm like, no, like, no, like, no. I don't want you to. Don't just act like you just don't know until I feel like I'm gonna like open up and tell him um the fuck like bitch are you crazy I didn't even bitch this wasn't even my choice to come out and you trying to bitch now you just overstepping ho slow down like my man gonna leave me damn near like he already fucking leave me but I don't need him to leave me before he actually leave me and then I be left <laughs> like bitches you okay so um she's like okay well be careful blah 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 Noah ends up pulling up and um I go outside to the car I'm not gonna lie I was a little bit like I was acting a little weird when I got to the car, even when I had got in the car, and like he kind of picked up on that vibe. He was like, you okay? And I'm like, uh, yeah. He's like, you sure? I'm like, yeah. Like, okay. I'm like, he's like, well, you ready? I'm like, yeah. So we were driving, um, we went to OHOP. And uh, it was like, it was just a little awkward in the car because I'm just like, I know I'm gonna have to tell him that Selena knows, which I really don't, like, I don't have to tell him, but I feel like it would be right to tell him. Cause I feel like that's something he should know. So yeah. So, um, so we uh, get to OHOP and we get in, we get seated, um, and we're just kind of just, you know, sitting there. Um, my bookie ordered like a grand slam. I don't even know if that's what it's called on the menu, but you know what the grand slam is with all like, you know, you know what the fuck it come with. He ordered a grand slam and I tried to keep it real cute, keep it real light, keep it real ladylike, and I ordered me a grilled cheese. I'm just bullshit and I ordered me a grand slam food. And we were just sitting there talking, um, and yeah, just enjoying each other's vibe, enjoying each other's. Um, I remember him telling me, uh, <laughs> he was just like, um, he was like, you know, I'm leaving in like two weeks. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Which is so crazy because even at that time, he still didn't know if he was leaving. Like, it was just like a, if his mom get this job type thing. But if she gets the job, clearly y'all leaving. And it's just like, I'm pretty sure she's gonna get it. So it was just, it was just a lot, y'all. It was just crazy. I was just feeling so many emotions. Anyway, he was just like, if I leave, I don't know when I'm coming back. He was like, I don't need you getting a new little boyfriend on me. And blah, blah. I'm just like, 
I won't, but in reality, like, I did because, like, you're not about to leave me. Like, what the fuck? So, anyway, checkmate, bitch. Anyway, I'm sorry. So, anyway, so we're just sitting there talking and stuff. Um, and I just remember him, like, talking about something, and I just was looking at him, and I just kind of, like, was fading out everything he was saying because I just had on my mind that I needed to tell him something. So, as he was talking, I was just like, Selena knows. And he was like, he was like, what? And I was like, um, Selena knows that we're talking. And he was like, what? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, you told her? And I'm like, no. He was like, so how the fuck do she know? And I was like, um, I might have left her with my phone. I went to the bathroom and you had texted me, you missed me. And she, uh, she kind of read our messages. And his face was just literally like, <sighs> he put his head down. I was like, but like, you don't have to worry about it. I'm like, she's not going to say anything. I know her. Like, she's not going to say anything. He's like, well, I can't risk that. He was like, I can't. Like, I literally can't risk, like, anyone knowing. And I looked at him. I said, no, you do realize, like, we're both DL right now, right? I said, when we were just in Florida, your little cousin's best friend found out that we were, and I didn't trip with you so like i get what you're saying but like i'm like can you, you I, I feel like like you overreacting like i'm telling you she's not gonna say anything he was like i don't think that you understand like i'm an athlete i have certain things that i want to follow with and that'll fuck it up if anybody finds out and i'm like nobody's going to find out i'm like she just knows like she's my best friend so in all actuality if you want to know the truth like i feel like eventually i was gonna tell her anyway just because that was my best friend, but can you not like make it seem like we just, I understand what we are right now. Don't make it seem like it's just, you know, like, okay, it's fine. Nobody's, she's not gonna tell anyone. And uh, he literally gets up y'all and like walks off to the bath. And I'm just sitting there like this, like looking around. It's only like three other people in OHOP right now. And I'm just kind of just looking around, just like playing with my food. It's like, really? Is this what, is this how, is this how we are right now? Is this what we're doing? Anyway, um, I get on my phone for a little minute. Uh, he comes back maybe like 10 minutes after and uh, he sits down and he was silent for like two minutes before he said something. Um, and then he's just like, he's like, look, listen, I'm sorry. Um, he's like, I trust you wouldn't say anything. It's just a little overwhelming. I'm like, I get you. It's okay. He's like, well, yeah. Like, uh huh. Still awkward. So anyway, we're eating our food. We're just talking and stuff. And then, um, yeah. After we ate, uh, it was a cool little, it was a cool little scenery. We were, you know, chilling or whatever. And, um, yeah, he was about to drop me off home. But then I asked him, I was like, can I sleep with you tonight? And he was like, of course. And I was like, okay. So, uh, we went to his house. And we hopped in bed and went to sleep. Y'all thought we was having sex? No, I just got done eating, Buki. Like, I'm just... <laughs> but, you know, we literally just went to his house and, um... We just walked in, we tried to be very quiet, even though his house is big as shit, his mom's not gonna hear anything anyway, but you know, just cautious teenager shit. We go upstairs uh, in his room and yeah, I don't know, I was just so tired. Like he walked out for a minute. As soon as I hit the sheets, it was over with. I was slumped. I was just, I was just buried under the sheets with all his pillows. He had so many pillows. Well, he had like, he didn't have a lot of pillows on his bed, but he had like these four big pillows and it was just like just so soft and just so comforting and just so fresh and so clean clean and i'm just sitting there like oh and instantly i just was out like a light y'all didn't it was it for me i was done i was done anyway um yeah next morning i woke up some way somehow i was on his chest i don't know but you know you move in your sleep or whatever the case is anyway i'm on his chest and he's on his phone he's woke it's like 10 o'clock in the morning by this time the fact that we only got like five hours of sleep, maybe even four is crazy. But um, he's like, uh, how'd you sleep? And I was like, I guess good. I don't know, I'm not tired or anything. So, you know, I guess good. And he's like, he's like, you wanna do something adventurous today? And I'm like, like what? I'm like, what's adventure? And he's like, just let me take control. He's like, don't worry about it, I'll show you. I'm like, you always got something up your fucking sleeve. What are we doing? What the fuck are we doing? Literally, what are we doing? <sighs> So he's like, I'm about to take you home, pack a bag with like some clothes in it. I was like, what type of clothes? He's just like comfy clothes. He was like, he was just like comfy clothes and uh, like some jeans and a shirt maybe. I was like, okay. So uh, he took me home. I get home, I walk in, I say hey to my mom. I say hey. At this point my mom, she just don't care. She's like, this nigga ain't gonna be no, he ain't gonna be home no time soon because like, it's the summer. This nigga just, uh. as long as she knew. As long as she fucking knew. So. I pack a bag and then, uh, yeah, I put like some, I just put in like some sweats, t-shirts, socks and underwear, of course. I had like four pairs of those. 
And um, just in case, you never know, right? Because he told me to bring like a couple of pair of clothes and I'm like, are we staying days somewhere? But I'm just like, we can't be. Maybe I'm just gonna get like dirty and we're gonna shower somewhere. So, <sighs> so um, I walk back out. I said bye to my mom. I told her I'll be back later. Uh, and I get to the car. Um, like I had showered at over Noah's house and everything before, you know, all of that. But he's like, all right, you ready? Cause he already had his little bag ready. I'm like, uh, damn, we leaving right now? He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. I'm like, sure. I'm like, where are we going? He's like, just relax. I'm like, okay. so y'all, we driving, and I noticed that we are leaving Chicago, like, leaving the city of Chicago. I'm like, okay. And I just remember we were driving for like two hours at this point, and I'm just like, okay, where are we going? Cause we're clearly going somewhere. It's like early as shit in the morning right now. Well, it's probably like 12 right now, or maybe like going on one, whatever time it was, but it was still early in the day. And we just kept on driving and driving and driving. And like, we just sitting there talking, we chilling, we listening to music, just, you know, doing that good type of thing. He stops at a gas station. He stops at a gas station, he gets some more gas. Um, and then we get snacks and stuff like that. And we're driving and I'm just like, are we almost there wherever the fuck we're going? He was like, yeah. All right, mind y'all, we like two hours into the drive. So I'm like, okay. We're driving and driving and driving. And we passed this sign that says, welcome to Ohio. I'm like, we're fucking in, we're in Ohio right now? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, are you about to kill me or something? Because like, if you upset that I told, if, if you upset that Selena found out about us, like that doesn't have to be like, you know, like, you ain't got to try to, cause if you gonna kill me, can you just let me know so I can call my mama? Cause I'm just like, what the fuck? So anyway, um, but yeah, so we, uh, oh, pussy. We um are driving and driving still. I'm like, no, like where are we? Where are we going? And he's like, we're literally almost there. I'm like, all right, maybe like mm, we we end up getting to the place and it was Cedar Point. I don't know if y'all know what Cedar Point is, but it's like a it's like a Six Flags, um, like an amusement park. And I'm like, we at Cedar Point? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. I told him, I'm like, I don't know about this. He's like, what? I'm like, I, I mean, I'm excited, but I'm scared of roller coasters. Like, is you crazy as fuck? Like, you gotta be crazy as fuck, though. Like, you gotta be crazy as fuck. And he's just like, it's okay, I got you. I'm like, he's like, this is not all that's left on our agenda either. I'm like, what's up with all of this stuff like that we doing? And he's just like, he's just like, I gotta make up for the time that I'm not gonna be able to see you. So we gotta do a lot. And I'm like, I love a man with a plan. Cause I'll tell you one thing about it, me. You gonna get a good, you gonna get a good McDonald's trip out of me and then that's, that's it. Then again, he had money, so I didn't at the time. I was broke. I was young, dumb, and broke. And horny a little bit, but not even that, still. Like, I was I was too broke to be horny, because you gotta pay for stuff when you horny. Like, you gotta buy condoms and stuff like that. And I was just like, I can't even afford a fucking dollar condom or a damn seven pack of, pack of condoms, so I'm just not gonna be fucked. You know, like, that's just, that's how I was. I was like, I'm just not gonna, a little bit expensive, bitch, I'm just not gonna be fucking, because I'm not finna raw dog you. So I'm just not gonna be fucking, so I was, I was just, I was just young, dumb, broke, and fake horny, because I couldn't even get horny for real. It was like, shit, and I mean, I was fucking with him, so that's all I needed. So we, we was, when we was doing what we was doing, we was just fucking with each other. So we was like, you know, I don't know, but I don't know. But yeah, um, so we get there, we park and everything, and I'm just like, I'm so scared. He was like, y'all already bought the tickets online. We got an all day plan. I'm like, we gonna be here all day? He was like, we don't have to. I was like, fuck. I'm so scared. Abuki, I'm so scared. 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 I'm so fucking scared. Bitch. <sighs> so anyway, so we get through the damn gate. We in the music, in the amusement park and everything like that. Oh, uh, and. Yeah, um, we just walking around, we just doing little cute little stuff, y'all, like, I was just like, I don't know. And one thing I noticed, since we were far away from our people, nobody knew who Noah was in Ohio, nobody knew who I was in Ohio, like, literally. So, like, we were able to just be, like, a homosexual couple, like, we was just homosexual. And, like, he was winning me prizes, like, he didn't got me a bear. Oh my god, my book didn't got me a bear, like, he didn't, he, cause y'all know he played basketball. He was good at basketball, he was good at football, he was good at... Boy, that nigga was good at sports, but you know, he played basketball, like, and, yeah, like, what the fuck, he went to the little basketball thing, he up in there, I'm talking about, it's like all net every time, like, what, that nigga want me a little cute little bear, I was like, I'm so gay for this, but I love it, like, I love that for us, Buki, and I'm just like, thank you, he's just like, of course, anything for you, and I'm just like, fuck, like, 
You don't even understand how bad I wanna right now. Like, you know, like the way I could just go so crazy on them kneecaps is beyond. So, um, <laughs> yeah, we, you know, he's on our big one or whatever. And then we get on rides and stuff. Y'all, I was so fucking scared. Like, I literally hate roller coaster rides. Like, I really, I'm still embarrassed. Like, looking back on it, like, I really get like secondhand embarrassment. Cause if the way y'all saw the way me holding this man was not no, oh, I'm trying to be cute and trying to be on this boy, it was like I was really fucking terrified. Like, he went on one ride. I was, like, inside this, like, inside this room. But it was, like, went underground or some shit. It was scary. Like, is the lights flickering and shit? Bitch, I thought I was dying. Like, I'm just, like, you know, no, it's just, like, oh, shit. Like, you know, he one of those. Like, and he laughing and shit. I'm like this. <clears throat> like, my stomach dropping and shit. Bitch, I was embarrassed. Like, I'm just, like, I can't even try to be cute on this motherfucking try to. Like, no, I'm in this bitch, like, grunting. I'm damn near crying. And I didn't want a pussy. I didn't want a pussy out, but I told him, I said, I don't think I could get on no more rides. And he literally made me get on more rides. Like, after that ride, I was like, okay, I ain't grunt as much. But, bitch, I was definitely fucking scared. Like, that shit is so scary. Like, roller coaster rides. Whoever the fuck invented roller coaster rides is a pussy. Ass. You know what? I feel like it's Christopher Columbus. Because Christopher Columbus was doing a lot of shit that he wasn't supposed to be doing before BC. Like, it's like... <laughs> Before Christ. It's like, I just can't. Like, why are you, why are you searching this world and God ain't even searching shit? Like, is you fucking crazy? Like, who the fuck told you that? Who, like, Moses only fucking, like, walked on water, like, once. And, and all you, and you gonna fucking explore the world? Who the fuck is you? It's probably, um, Christopher Columbus that created really good. I'm sorry. Anyway, so, yeah, we had a good time at there. Y'all, like, we was just, it was just, like, real couple stuff. Like, ooh, mm. Uh, ooh, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, like we just had a good time and then um it got really late like it was probably like 8 p.m. Cuz we were there for a long Time well like a couple hours, but we were there for like a long time. We got like 8 p.m. and um, Some way somehow don't ask me he booked this hotel room and I don't know how he did it because you are supposed to be at least like What like 21 to book a hotel room or is it 18? 21 or 18 regardless of the fact I think it's 21 and I always was confused about like how the fuck did he do that but I think he had like a fake ID or something it's really crazy anyway um yeah he looked like this real nice little hotel room in Ohio and you know he had money so we're just like yo mama really be spoiling you can I get in a wheel because <laughs> I'm like uh but he booked this hotel room and he had plans on making me feel good he was such a sweetheart I kind of miss him Emma is you is we did i did you no nah, but yeah so he booked this hotel room so when we left the amusement park we went to the hotel room we in the hotel room um just chilling i showered because i'm just like i'm stinky like all of that all the, the heat motherfucking heat i was in that bitch sweating up bullets like it was crazy then he showered um yeah y'all i laid on the bed after i got out the shower because i was just like so you know, so hot. Even though I knew what I was doing, but I didn't know what I was doing for real. Um, he got out the shower and like he was already on demon time. Like it was crazy. Like I was like, Noah, why are you naked and why is your dick hard and why is you slinging it? And I'm just looking like, oh wow, y'all. He had a nice body. His body, an athlete body, is just crazy. Like everything. He had everything. He was like he was everything. You know. Um, sorry. <laughs> But yeah, so like I'm just literally laying on the bed and yeah, like he walks up. Y'all, he literally got right back, like right to business. Like it was crazy. Like literally he walks up, he pulls my underwear down. He eats me out. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm saying all of this. This is so, I really hate talking like this to y'all. Turn y'all heads. Close your ears. Okay, fine. Use your listening ears, but fuck. Like probably fuck. Anyway. Mm. Oh wow. Like this is so vulgar. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Any who's Um, yeah, so he pulls down my underwear. I'm laying on my back, of course. Laying on my back like this. He pulls down my underwear and, um, yeah, like, he starts to eat me out and stuff. And then, like, you know, he's eating me out for a long time. And then, like, you know, like, I don't know. He's a grown man. So, like, you know, he spits on his, like, on his Peter Whacker. Um, and then, like, he's flicking his pinnacle against, like, my booty hole. Uh, oh my god, this is so crazy. I don't even want to... Like, right. I like that. That is so gay. Ugh. Oh my god. I'm getting secondhand embarrassing. All right. He he's slapping like he's slapping this moment. Um. And then um, 
Yeah, like, you know, he like easing it in and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, after a few, you know, after, after like 10 minutes of trying to ease the knee, you know, it went in. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, like we went, to, he went to, we went to Pound Town. It was, we, he took me to Pound Town. It was a great time. It was a great experience. Um, I would definitely go again. Um, 10 out of 10 would recommend. I would do it again. Uh, and it was like, you know, it was, it was great. It was actually, um, great. Uh, oh, wow. Um, you know, Noah's pinnacle was, um, it was, it was a, it was a, it was a size. It was a very big size. Um, and most of the time I couldn't always take it, but something about that night. Wow. We both did our big one. It was crazy. Um, yeah, it was like, it was nuts. Like the way that he was going, I just, did, I just was like, go do it. Do your, don't stop. He flipped me over on my stomach. He was going crazy. He was like. I'm so sorry. This is so. Turn y'all heads, please. I'm gonna hate editing this so bad. Like, just looking back at me, just be a fucking whore. <sighs> anyway. Um, yeah, like, we're just going to Pound Town. And one thing about Noah that I loved is that he was so verbal during sexual intercourse. Like, he was so concerned. He used to ask, like, he used to be like, Are you okay? I'm like, Yeah. He's like, Let me know if that hurts. I'm like, Okay. He was like, Let me know if you're uncomfortable. Like you want to switch positions? Are you okay? Are you all right? Is it too much? Like, but he also he was verbal in like a concerning way, but also verbal in like a real sexy way too. Like he was like, oh, like, oh wow, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not thinking about it. Um, and he like he was like sexual in like a way of like he was like he was like verbal in a way of like I'm about to go deeper, okay? And I'm like I'm like okay, okay. Oh wow, like it's so scary. This is crazy. Um, yeah, he was just so verbal. Like it was just crazy. He used to be like look at me. Like he was like don't turn your head, look at me, don't take your eyes off me, like stuff like that. And I'm like that boy know how to. And I didn't expect it, considering that his mom's white. Was that racist? Probably so. I don't care. But yeah, like you know, like light skinned boys are just not it. Like you know, but like I mean like. Don't well, I'm not gonna say not it, but like sometimes, like you know, they're they're a little um a little um unexperienced, and I thought that's what that was gonna be when I first had met Noah, but no, it wasn't. Like he, well, I didn't know, I didn't think that. I'm actually lying. Like when I looked at Noah, I, I used to have a biggest crush on him before we even started talking. It was so crazy. So the fact that you know it was what it was, and like he gravitated towards me was just like a blessing in disguise. But not being in disguise, it was just like right in front of my face. Like he could pull that dick out and just smack it on my head, and I was just like, oh wow. This is what I need. Um, anyway, so yeah, like we were just doing a big one and I just remember the the feeling, the emotions of everything. Like it was, after that I was so exhausted, like it was crazy. But too much information, but I don't care. If this is too much, click off the video. The fuck? So, um, <laughs> okay, so, um, you know, he, um, after he got hit, he like laid me on my back and um, he like got between my legs and put on his hand and he grabbed my pinnacle and just like, you know, backing me off. Um, and y'all, it was just so like intimate cause like he made me look at him. He did not make me stop looking at him. Um, as he's doing, it was crazy. Like he's kissing my neck as he's like, and I'm just like, wow, this is, this is next level. Um, and then he like puts his pinnacle in again as he's doing it and it was like, like oh my god i ain't never had it like this before like y'all I, I exploded so so much it, that is tmi like oh anyway y'all that happened and then um yeah like it was just crazy like we just oh just i was just kissing him like <sniffs> grabbing his face kissing him because he was just so just he was a great kisser i just oh my god it was so good and then i had a moment um after we did that uh I was just laying there, I was quiet and stuff. He went to the bathroom, he cleaned himself up. And then um, when he came back, he realized like I was like was super quiet and he's like, what's wrong? And I just remember looking at him and I just started crying. Like, I don't know if it's cause of the sex. I don't know what it was, but I was so emotional that this nigga was really finna leave. And he already knew what I was crying about. So he just kind of just walked up to me and like, he gave me like the biggest hug ever. Like literally like biggest, just bear hug ever. like. Pulled me so close to his chest and stuff, and he was like, "It's okay, it's gonna be okay." Um, and yeah, and then he told me he loved me, and I was like, "It made me cry more." And I was like, "I love you too." Like that's crazy. Like, fuck. like I don't even know what we are, but I just know that we talking. Like I know I like you so much. Like this is crazy. Um, and yeah, and then uh, you know, I we we stopped crying, and then I went to the bathroom and I cleaned myself up. And as I'm in the bathroom, I hear Noah's mom on the phone. 
and she's like spazzing. She's like, why the fuck didn't you tell me you're going to Ohio and who the fuck are you with? What are you doing? What the fuck is wrong with you, Noah? Like, you're supposed to be better than this and all this. It was crazy. Um, but anyway, we're going to leave it off there. I love you guys so much. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure that y'all like, comment, subscribe. Click that bell on the side so that you can be notified. Make sure that you tell a friend or two because it is good for you. I love you guys so much. I am back uploading. So make sure that you guys tune in, tell a friend or two because it is good for y'all. I'm promise y'all that. Anyway, I love y'all and I will see y'all in my next YouTube video. Bye.